Hi everyone, my name is Ann Rogers. I'm a research data manager at PMA, and the purpose of this video is to show you how to incorporate changes made to the master branch during data collection. If you are unfamiliar with GitHub or Gitkraken, please see our other videos, the GitHub SOP, or the Gitkraken support website. As you can see in this repository, we have several branches. The two branches we care about are the round seven and the master branches. Say you've been collecting round seven data and updating the cleaning by our redo files, and then you notice that the master branch has a new commit since the last time the master branch was updated. As you can see here, when the round seven branch was created, the latest commit in the master branch was here. But now an update has been made to the template do files and the master branch has a new commit. We need to merge these changes from the master template into the do files used for data collection. Now let's make sure we're in the round seven branch by double clicking the name or using the drop down in the toolbar. Once we're in the round seven branch, right click the master branch and click merge master into round seven. And this will merge all the changes made in the master branch to the round branch. Now one of two things will happen. We will either get merge successful and not have to take any more steps. The round branch will be in line with the master branch or we will get merge failed. And the merge can fail if there are merge conflicts. A merge conflict is when the same line of code was edited differently in the two branches. For example, if the person updating the template branches changed the same macros that were changed in the round branch and they're changed to something different. So let's see what happens when we merge this master branch into the round branch. Merge failed. There are merge conflicts that need to be resolved. So what to do when you have a merge conflict? You'll see that the commit panel has this blue tab saying one file conflict in working directory. We should click view conflict. This takes us to a version of the commit panel that looks slightly different than the commit panel we've seen before. It says conflicted files, resolved files. The resolved files are ones in which we don't need to address a conflict. The change can be made and it doesn't conflict with the change we've made in the round branch. But the conflicted files are the ones that we need to address and find which version needs to be kept, the version in the master or the version in the round branch. What we need to do is click on the conflicted file. And this takes us to something that looks kind of like the diff checker. On the left hand side, we have the round branch and what the do file looks like in the round branch. And on the right hand side, we have what the do file looks like in the master branch. It appears here that in the round branch, we changed the macro for the wash do file name but in the master branch, we removed the macro entirely. Now, merge conflicts will be different depending on any time the master is merged into the round branch. Sometimes it is appropriate to save the version that was in the round branch. For example, if the conflict had been that the country name was changed in the macro, we don't need a different country name and we don't want a different country name in the macros. We want to stick with the country that we're in. Sometimes it's also correct to choose the change that's in the master. So let's go to the commit history of the master branch and see why the parent file was changed to determine whether or not we should keep our version from the round or our version from the master. If we look in the commit graph, you can see that the master branch merged the pull request from the 2019 June 20th branch. And in that branch, the parent file was edited to remove the wash do file code. Now, why was that? Well, if you see here, 
It was because the wash do file is no longer required for PMA, so we removed the code to run it from the parent file. Remembering, of course, that these are all examples. Well, that seems like a valid reason to remove the code for the wash do file. So let's go back to our merge conflict. Go to the conflicted file. And we're going to use this check mark right here to keep the version that's in the master branch. If we'd wanted to keep the version that was in the round branch, we would select the check mark here. And then down below, it shows us the output of the file. So now that we've selected we want to keep the change from the master, the output below looks like the master. If there had been more than one merge conflict, we could have used these arrows to navigate from conflict to conflict. But now that we've solved all of the conflicts, let's click Save in the top right corner. And now the parent file has been moved down to staged files. This is one of the few instances in which several files can be in a commit at once. It is just because we are merging all the changes from the master into the round branch. Let's click down at the bottom, the green button, commit and merge. We've merged the master into round seven branch and now we need to push the round seven branch to GitHub. And that's that for how to merge master updates into round branches. Please watch our other videos and thank you for watching this one.